Hi, this is Congressman Steny Hoyer. As always, I'm incredibly proud to join you to honor the men and women from Maryland who have worn the uniform of our country and served under our flag. This year, our celebration is a little different as our nation confronts a challenge unlike anything we've seen in our lifetimes. It is a challenge that calls us to sacrifice and stand up for one another. Our veterans know a thing or two about sacrifice and having each other's backs. The story of America's armed forces is a tale of camaraderie, respect, and unity and courage in the face of often insurmountable odds. We are reminded of this every time we hear the names of places like Iwo Jima. This year, we mark the 75th anniversary of the Battle of Iwo Jima and the end of the Second World War. As we remember the more than 26,000 American soldiers, sailors, and Marines who were killed or wounded in that single battle, we honor all those who served in the Second World War. I want to make special mention of our Southern Maryland and World War II veterans who are joining us virtually today. Please join me in thanking them not only for their service and sacrifices all those years ago, but for the many ways they continue to serve and contribute to our communities in the decades since. I have been proud to work with them over the years and with our veterans from other conflicts, including Korea, Vietnam, Iraq, Afghanistan, and so many other places of danger, to improve the service of our VA facilities and to ensure that those who served get the recognition and benefits they are due. Just last month, I participated in the opening of a facility that so many of us worked hard to secure, the new community-based outpatient clinic located in Charlotte Hall. It features state-of-the-art facilities to serve our veterans and reduce travel times for those seeking many medical services. I look forward to continue to work closely with our local veterans and veterans organizations to make further improvements in veterans care and to keep faith with those who risk so much to keep us safe and free. One of the iconic images of American military heroism comes from the Battle of Iwo Jima. All of us know that famous photograph of six Marines raising our flag over Mount Suribachi, which has become a symbol of what Americans can achieve together when united in pursuit of a common purpose. I've been thinking of that moment in recent days. As we come together in the aftermath of an election that focused our attention on Americans' differences, let us return to a clear focus on what unites us our love of country, our love of service, our desire for all in our communities to have a fair shot at the American dream and to know that American justice is always fair. And our commitment to ensuring that every voice is heard in our democracy. May God always protect our troops and our veterans and keep them safe. And may we always stand together pursuing life, liberty, and happiness for all of our people as one nation under God, indivisible, recognizing our common ideals and our common destiny and our pride in this great country. May God bless America. Thank you very much.